All right, I'm going to share something with you that I am just, I shouldn't be so giddy about this, but I am. Uh, I am so excited that we figured this out. Okay, so assuming you have some sort of a calendaring program, right? You're using Acuity, um, you use Calendly, Schedule Once, whatever your thing is, right? Here's a problem. Most of them, I don't know of any of them that do this, right? They will allow people to book time with you. It's going to integrate with your calendar, so it's going to make sure it's, checking availability, and then it's going to put the thing on your calendar event, on your calendar, right? But on the thank you page or the confirmation page, after they make that appointment, it requires the user to then add it to their calendar. So what wouldn't it be awesome if you could automatically send them a calendar invite, which is different than an email invite. A calendar invite is sent from your calendar to their calendar um, whenever, um, when and, and it'll show up when you invite them, whether or not they've said yes or not, you could say yes, no, or maybe, or I forget what the settings are on that, right? But it will show up on their calendar because we run into this problem. So I have about 25, 30 appointments every single week. Invariably, someone does not add it to their calendar. And guess what? If it's not on my calendar, it doesn't, I don't do it. It's not, it's, it's not going to happen. So we want to make sure that we eliminate that human error and we automatically send them a calendar invitation. Okay. This is how to do it in Google. I'm sure there's a way to do it in office 365. If you want to do that as well, I haven't yet done that extra work. I'm just going to send them the Google calendar invite. So here's how to do this. So right now I'm in acuity admin and let me change my screen here. Yeah. Something like this. Okay. So, um, now this right here, you could very easily just go on your own schedule page and do this as well. It, it's the exact same thing. So I'm going to schedule an appointment and I'm going to show you, um, what it currently does. This is the normal functionality. If you ask acuity, they, they don't have a clue. They, they don't, they're like, Oh, you won't work like that. There's a permission, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get around that. Okay. And this is going to be so valuable for sales and important appointments that people are making with you. All right. So, um, I'm going to go, you're probably like, what are all those appointments? We have a lot of people. All right. So 30 minute chat with Josh about my influence, uh, and then the date and then the time that's all fine. This is normal, right? So someone puts their name in here and then they put their email address and, um, let's see, almost there. Oh, put that one. Okay. Um, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and schedule the appointment and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. The appointment's set, but, and I'm going to go over here and you're like, yeah, cool. It showed up on my appointment. Okay. But it doesn't show up on their calendar unless they manually add it to their calendar. It doesn't do this automatically. So we can verify this by looking in here and what guests are invited. Nobody, nobody's invited here. That's a problem because if they miss it, then they're not going to uh, see it on their calendar. So here is how to fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll keep this one on here, except now I'm going to take you through, I'm going to take you through using Zapier, um, how we are going to search. We're going to set the trigger and the trigger is, hey, whenever Zapier sees that a new appointment was made in your scheduling program, and you could do this for about any of them that it connects with. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say the trigger is a new appointment in Acuity Scheduling. Then the next action, the action from that trigger is going to be, it needs to find the event in Google Calendar. Okay, you have to do a find first. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to add the attendee to the event in Google Calendar. No kidding. It, it works. All right. So let me go through these steps in a little bit more detail here so you can see exactly what I have. This one's really easy. Okay. You got your um, acuities connected. You got the right account selected. Set up the trigger. You want to make sure you select the correct calendar and the correct appointment type. Um, as you saw, we have a ton of people and a ton of appointment types. Okay. So make sure that those are correct. By the way, if you want to do this for multiple appointment types, you have to set up multiple zaps in order to get that done. You're going to have to have one for each appointment type. Unfortunately, yeah, there's no way around that. Okay. Then, um, what I'm going to go through is, 
I'm going to go and let's see, here's an appointment. Um, so it, go, it went, found one right here. I thought there was a way where we can, um, oh, appointment F. Okay, here, here. If, if you're not seeing new stuff, um, go click load more. And then um, it, there you go. Just do that. So now it's pulling in um, this newest appointment that was made. Okay. But remember, as you remember, I'm going to click continue. Um, it's not, it doesn't have the calendar invite. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the event in Google. Make sure you've connected your Google calendar. It's the event action event is find event. You're going to choose the right account. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set up the action, right? And so in this case, um, let me make sure I've got, again, I've got fresh data here. So I'm going to go refresh fields. Um, and pardon me, I'm kind of blocking some of this stuff because there's some sensitive information here with um, um, some of our clients and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure it's pulled in. So sorry, I'm not showing you like what's actually in here, um, but you need to enter in. The search term is the email address, Okay. Um, that's what it's going to look for when it finds the event. And then you're also going to put in the time of appointment. And um, this worked for us. Um, so those are the two variables. And that's the start time. And that alone, it will find the event. Um, because if this person book has booked many appointments with you, it, it's not going to, it's going to give you it's going to return lots of them and we don't want to do that. So we want to turn the specific one. So we put time of appointment in there as well. Okay. So that's the action. Then we're going to test the action and we're going to verify that we've got the correct. We're going to, um, gosh darn it. Let's see here where we go. Um, I, I want to make sure I'm pulling in the correct data. And again, sorry, I'm kind of blocking this stuff in the video here. Um, but I just, I've had, uh, I'm seeing some sensitive client stuff. Let me hit refresh right here. Test action. Um, let's kind of do that. Okay, good. That's the correct one. Okay, so it it found it. It found the event right here. And again, I'm sorry you're not seeing exactly like what's on here. Um, but it, it 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 absolutely pulled up that event and it pulled up my email address. Uh, it found it. Good. Good, good, good. It found the event. Now that we have the correct event, the next, the the final action here is we're gonna add the attendee to the event in Google Calendar. Because again, remember, you can do this manually, but we want to do this automatically and instantly. So again, add attendee to event in Google Calendar. We're going to choose the app and event, Google Calendar, choose the account, that should be yours. Uh, set up action. Uh, again, what we're going to do is we're going to search for, and we're going to pull this from action number two. So when it gives you the drop down. You're going to pull, you click here, and then you're going to go, you're going to make sure you have the right calendar, and then the event, you are going to pull it from the find event in Google Calendar, and then you are going to click on ID. You have to click show all options, and then click on ID, and then what it will do, and then attendee, you're going to put the email address that you used from um, your calendar. So, you could pull it from either um, the trigger or the first action, but I just pulled it from the trigger. It's the same email address. Okay, so we're good there. Then we're going to go through, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen because um, we're testing with this event right here. So currently you can see no guess, right? Watch what happens when I do this. It might take five minutes. I'm not sure. Um, and if so, I'll just pause it. Uh, let me go through and make sure we have fresh data here. Fresh fields, we got that. Test action. Um, I think we again. Sorry, I'm blocking this stuff here. Okay, good. We got that. Um, now um, that I've tested that, let's click on here. Look at that. You see that? All right. So what I actually did. Now there's one guest. There's an invitation here for that guest. And now they have a calendar invite. They'll get a notification in their calendar app. They might have notifications turned on. They are going to get an email saying, Hey, go ahead and verify our, um, that, that you want to be added to this. Uh, and then what happens when they do, you'll see that it'll change the status from awaiting to confirmed.
My friends, that's how you do it. Everything's working. We turn on the zap. And now every time someone makes an appointment in Acuity, they'll automatically get the calendar invite. I could listen, we have been struggling with this for months, going back and forth with support, looking at other solutions. And I hope that this just completely change your world, help you confirm more appointments and help you improve your show up rate on all of your appointments as well. All right, take care.